Hi, good morning. It's good to be with you again as we spend this time together in the morning each day during this season of Advent, spending time together in scripture and prayer. And we do, as we come into each day, we will do as we will do this morning. We'll spend some time with some music and some breathing to calm our hearts, to just get us clear of all those things around us that seem to be distracting us in the day. And then we'll come into God's word, spend some time dwelling in it, and then spend some time in prayer. So we begin with some music as we begin to breathe and center ourselves for this time. I invite you now to take a few deep breaths with me. Through the tender compassion of God, the dawn from on high will break upon us and light the way of peace. Our scripture this morning takes us to Romans chapter 13. We are in verses 11 through 14. From Paul's letter to the Romans. It is now the moment for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. That first line, it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. It's like a little alarm clock going off, right? How many mornings does my alarm tell me? It's now the moment for you to awake from sleep. It's not my favorite message in the morning. Although sometimes I, I'm excited to get up and get started because I, I know what the day is going to hold and I kind of feel some anticipation about it. But generally, uh, that moment of it's time for you to wake from sleep is not um, is not the best news. I, I, sleep is such a nice thing. Sometimes it takes a while to wake up. You know, I'm, I'm a slow waker upper, I guess. I need that little bit of time, my coffee, um, some time just snuggling with the dog, whatever, just to kind of get myself going in the morning um, to lay aside that sleepiness. And, and Paul says here, let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. It's like he's saying, okay, come on, get up, get going, get moving get out of the pajamas or whatever it is that's keeping you back from engaging in 
this life with Christ. He says, put on the armor of light. Put on that you put on your uniform, put on your fighting clothes. You got a lot to do today um, in Christ and for Christ. He says, put on the armor of light. He says, don't put on all that other stuff, the stuff that, that's going to hold you back and distract you from what you've got to do. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that a cool thought to get up in the morning, wake from sleep, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and head out for what he's got for you in that day and for what you are to do for him and in him in that day um, in the world not being lazy and slow about it there's no time to be lazy and slow about it he says he says it's no now's the moment wake up from sleep lay aside the works of darkness put on the armor of light put on the lord jesus christ that's kind of a challenging thing but it's a great, great challenge in this season of Advent as we get ready for Christ's coming to wake from sleep and get ready. I invite you to sit with that or whatever thoughts this passage has brought to your own mind for a few moments. Let us pray. The first light of Christ appears in the Advent sky. In joyful hope, then let us pray. For the alienated and the forgotten, we pray to the Lord. The holy light, come and dispel the darkness. For those in despair and for those who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Holy light, come and dispel the darkness. For those enslaved by physical, mental, or substance abuse, we pray to the Lord. Holy light, come and dispel the darkness. This one family, let us pray to our Heavenly Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Awaken us, O God, from the sleep of hopelessness. Raise us up from the depths of despair so that we may be ready to greet the dawning of the morning star, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, the God of the humble and help of the oppressed, the support of the weak and refuge of the forsaken, the Savior of those without hope, to the Lord, the eternal glory.